Well, hey there, everyone, and welcome to Energy Gal Meditations. I'm Lisa, transformation doula and sound artist, and I wanted to get up and close and personal with you today. Um, this is the first episode in a new playlist that I'm that I'm starting called Empowered. And just to start off with, I want to uh, unpack for you something that happened to me today, and I think it's a lot about what this this particular playlist is going to be about. Um, so I'm at the gym today. See if you can relate to this. I'm at the gym. And for me, working out is less about using calories, trying to stay thin, trying to get muscle, trying to stay youthful. Working out, that is not motivational enough for me. <laughs> I need something more than that. Um, working out for me is, it helps my nervous system. It helps my nervous system, it helps my whole body release and relax things. And it helps them to recalibrate. It helps my body to recalibrate. So I'm at the gym today and this is what happened. All of a sudden, this thought comes up and I can literally feel the thought coming from the core of my belly up into my heart and land, like it was like landing like right here, kind of in my head, heart in this area here. And it said this, You have to work really hard to get people to stay. You have to try really hard to get people to want to be with you and to hang out and to stay. You have to work really hard to make that happen. And as soon as that thought happened, it came out of nowhere. I wasn't trying to do anything. I was listening to, uh, I was listening to uh, some songs on my um, hailstorm. I think it was "I Am the Fire" and "Love Bites." There you go. That's what I was listening to. <laughs> um, two awesome songs. So this comes up, and immediately I became very curious. I'm like, hmm, that's curious. That's interesting. That came, that came up. I could feel it coming up. And all of a sudden, I remembered, and, it, and it's a remembrance that I can't say is like an event, but I understood that there was this little girl in me that when her daddy left, mom and dad got divorced, I think she was four, five, six years old, and she came up with this thought, people leave, you're not lovable. So in the future, you're gonna to have to try really hard to get people to want to stay with you. You're gonna to have to try really hard to get people to want to stay. It's gonna be a lot of effort. And underneath it all, you're not really lovable. And so you're gonna to to try really hard and make a big effort to make people want to stay. And it was the first time that I realized that I was thinking that at a subconscious level. Like I knew at a conscious level that sometimes I struggle with that, but at the subconscious level, memories that get stored in my physical body and in my auric field, frequency of, hmm, you're rejectable, you're abandonable, you're unremarkable, and so you are really just fucking leavable. And as I was exercising, they came up that thought came up and I was able to say, okay, I don't want to partner with this. At the same time, I also don't want to reject it. I don't want to like slap its face, punch it in the face, um, you know, tell it GTFO. Oh, because it's attached to a little girl inside of me who still needs a lot of love, who needs to know, hmm, Hurt people hurt people, and that's actually not true. What you thought, the conclusion that you came to because dad left, is actually not true. It's a conclusion that you came to because of somebody else's behavior. But it's not true. You don't have to agree with that story anymore. And now at the conscious level, because it came up, and came through and I loved it, I can say, wow, okay, I get to sit here with this little sad, scared version of myself 
this beautiful little girl and say, hey, I love you. And I know you came to a conclusion when dad left. And that's okay. We'll heal. We'll heal. So, I was wondering if any of you have any experience when it comes to having like these thoughts come up and do you realize that they're not yours in that they are conclusions that you came to but they're not thoughts that you need to continue to partner with if it comes up do you know that you can allow it to speak you can allow it to be felt you can allow it to be processed you can allow it to be loved that you don't have to shame it, guilt it, push it back down in the corner, be afraid of it. The feelings can be overwhelming, but moving the body can help. Getting in an Epsom salt bath can help. Sitting under a tree or in the grass or even taking a walk in the woods or by the ocean, this can really help. Drinking some water and just sitting and being still can help. Getting a hug by someone who's safe and you don't have to explain things to can help. You see, I think that we're in a season where the frequency of the world, the frequency of the world has shifted so that some of these thoughts that we have, these beliefs, these stories that we have built our lives around and then forgotten that we did that, it's just part of our breath, part of our every day now, the subconscious, and we don't know we're led by it. Those things are going to be coming up because the frequency is no longer resonant. There's a dissonance with some of these very, um, the self-hatred, the self-loathing, the... Uh, hmm, the feeling like you're rejectable, unremarkable, nothing, nothing great, leavable. The, the frequency of the world is shifting to the point where those things are showing now in us. And what I encourage you to do then would be to love yourself more. Love yourself even more. Mm. Literally, like, I'm big into stuffed animals. I was never a Barbie doll girl, but I love stuffed animals. I still have them. And I will sometimes, like, hold a stuffed animal as if it's me as a little girl and physically give myself the love that I don't want to say that I didn't get it as a kid but that I clearly need as an adult give myself the love that I clearly need now regardless of whether I got it as a kid or not I need it now reparenting, rewiring the brain, partnering with thoughts that are self-loving, self-affirming, yeah. Hmm. So that's my goal for this particular new playlist. I noticed that when I do the sound baths and the guided meditations that I put up on Mondays and Wednesdays, that I talk a bit before. And some of it is because I want you to get to know me. And I want you to know why it is that I'm creating the bath or the meditation. 
but I also want to keep the focus focus on the sound bath and on the meditation. And so I thought maybe I'll create a separate list that is just encouragement, empowerment. My hope is that by me sharing part of my life and the things that I'm experiencing, that the ember of love that is your true identity within, that that ember is fanned and starts to really awaken, fire up, tune in, turn on, tune up, align, and all those words we use. And I'm really, really interested in creating a community because I think in the next couple of years, things are going to be really um, changing a lot. And I want, my, it's my heart's desire to create a community where we can hang with each other and say, this is what's going on. How are you doing? Well, this is what's going on with me. How are you doing? I want it to be raw and real and authentic, which means it's probably going to be messy and not necessarily professional grade, but I promise you it will be real. It will be real and it will be infused, or as my one kid says, it'll be imbued with love. It'll be imbued with love. So that is what I have to say. If there is anything that I said today that really speaks to you, I would love to hear about it in the comments. And if you have a special way that you like allow the subconscious to bubble up and become conscious, for me, it's exercise. That's what I do. I would love to know what it is. I'd be curious. So, and if there is a particular sound bath, if there's a particular guided meditation topic, or if there's a particular empower topic for this playlist that you would like to have me unpack for you, please let me know. I would be thrilled and honored to do so. In the meantime, thank you so much for your energies here. I hope I have been of some empowerment and encouragement, and I'll see you again next time. And in the meantime, peace be with you.